G'day everyone, it's Matt Dorn from Lawn Porn. Get your lawn on. Today's video is about the Robo Up T1000, a robotic mower that uses no perimeter wire and navigates via satellite and AI. It's got some tricks up its sleeve, so let's check it out. This video is about the Robo Up T1000 robotic mower, which is a perimeter free robot mower that uses AI for obstacle avoidance and mapping out. So let's check it out. I filmed all the unboxing. Unfortunately, I lost that footage, but look, it's pretty simple. You get the, you get the mower, which is all assembled, nothing to do there. You get the base station, which is where you charge it and what it goes into. And there's a wire that goes into that. And then a wire that goes into the pole which is used for the satellite and that's just assembly of two poles and put the wire through it and put this on top and then screw it up. It's really, really easy. So I don't really need to show you all that and apologies about the unboxing stuff. So let's check it out. It's a nice solid unit. I'm pretty happy with the construction uh, top to toe. Here on the top, you'll have an emergency stop button and that will stop all the mower operations. You've got a simple menu here with a screen. So basically there's on and off and okay and up and down to get through all the menu items. And the beauty about the setup is you download the app and it basically guides you through what to do. You look at the screen here, it tells you what to do. And you just got to put in the pin code, which for every mower is going to be four zeros and you can change that in the app later on when you want to. So this uses DEEPS, which is dynamic exact positioning system. And basically what that will do is it will use the, the RTK reference. When it goes out of the reference because of trees and obstacles, it will switch to the camera, which is at the front here. And there's also a side camera, which helps for mapping the boundaries. Fantastic. A really unique feature to this mower is that it's got one cutting disc but it's offset to the right hand side simply because it wants to get close to the edges and it will leave some edges behind which you'll still need to whip a snip or whatever method that you use to clean up your edges but other than that the cut is really excellent. Pretty traditional in the sense that it's got big wheels at the back which drive it and you've got two wheels at the front here, which sit on a bit of a bracket, which goes up and down to suit the area. And also the mowing disc, that goes up and down as well. And that is controlled in the app. So the obstacle avoidance is basically the cameras at the front go to the chip and it's got an artificial intelligence. It'll notice things that are obstacles, it'll recognize people. It doesn't, however, recognize small things like little balls and garden implements that may be laying on the lawn. So if you're gonna have this mower in your yard, you will really have to look at making sure that your yard's clear before this goes over it. But big things this will detect. This has also got a great feature that it will do multiple areas and you can link them up via passages. So fantastic for multiple yards within a property. So my area is pretty simple and please excuse my area a little bit. It's the dog's yard. He has uh, a bit of a run out here. He's dug some holes, unfortunately, but I've patched them up and thankfully he's leaving them alone. And we've got a really good mowing result out of this area, which I'm about to show you. And I'm really impressed with the auto mapping feature. The auto mapping feature worked really, really well. And then as it mows, and I noticed this a little bit as it went along and mowed the same mapping area a few times, it just got a little bit better at mapping out the area, especially around the edges. When it first sort of does it, it goes a, a little bit uh, wide sometimes, but then it sort of auto corrects as it's going along. So it's learning every time that it mows. That's uh, quite evident with this mower. This mower will do up to a thousand square meters, which is really, really handy. And look, I mowed this yard like about six times in one day, and I think I still had about 62%. So it shows you that it's quite an efficient mower and works really well. 
Well, let's get into it and let's get your lawn on. Before you get mowing, it's a four-step process of unpacking installation and adding your mower to the system. It's quite easy to do, and now we'll go into creating a virtual map. Okay, so once you've set everything up in the app, you can now map your area. You've got two options. You can map manually, but you can also do an auto mapping. And I found the auto mapping works really well. Go to the map and I'll delete the map. I'll delete all and start again. So from here, I've got absolutely nothing in my app and I'll need to create a zone. And choose auto mapping. Ensure that the unit on its little screen here has got RTK with a tick, which it has, and it's starting from the charging station, which it is. So you can just hit start creating boundary and away you go. So it's calibrating and then it'll come out and start. And what it does, it will map out the edge of the area using its camera. We'll know what's a boundary and what's not. Mine is quite easy. If you have something harder where it's harder to tell the difference between the, the grass surface and the edge, it might be like uh, something that's similar coloured or, or not very well defined, you might need to go to manual mowing, manual mapping should I say, for that. And that's now going to map that as we go along. Pretty cool. Once it does a full loop, it'll let you know that it's completed the map. And once it's done that, it'll go back into the dock, which by the way, ever since I've had this, it gets to the dock 100%. Hit save on that, and then you're saving that map, and you're ready to mow. So from that, you can start mowing. Go into, I've got a 30 millimeter mow. I've got it on auto, so the degrees I've got it is like at a nought degrees or 90 degrees to the mowing station. So my lines are going up and down this way. Save that and then hit mow and away it goes. How cool. Once you've made your zone or your area, you can start to mow it. So how this will mow it is that it will do the inside first and the edges after. I've got it down here to a 30 millimeter, which is the lowest cut, and it is fantastic. Everything in the app is always updated while I mow, so it keeps me informed, and that app is so easy to follow, no joke. So once it's done the inside, it will return to the dock and then it will go and mow the outside. So it does a little bit of a whiz bang going back to the dock, but it goes back to the dock, comes back out, and then it will do the outer edge all the way around, and then it will come back in and do another edge on the inside of that. And there you go, your lawn is mowed and no fuss, no hassle. I haven't highlighted it in this video, but you can do scheduled mowing as well. One thing that super impressed me about this mower, and I've reviewed quite a lot of robotic mowers, is that 100% all the time, it will go back into the dock without a problem. That's a real achievement for a robotic mower, and this is the best I've seen of any of the robotic mowers do that. So congratulations there to RoboUp. It's a fantastic machine. Well, is this robotic mowing for the masses? Well, it could well be because it is fantastic value. A quick search of Amazon shows that one of these mowers in Australian dollars is around about $2,000 or a smidge over. So it represents really good value in the robotic mower market, especially that it's RTK, wire-free, and also has some AI features to help with mapping and obstacle avoidance. I think it was a really smart feature that they put some lights on this to extend the mowing times. So that's a great little feature that a lot of the robotic mowers don't have. Now, of course, with this mower, the camera doesn't go through to the app and you can't use it as a monitoring device or a security device. So 
There is that, but look, do you really need that in a mower? Probably not. This mower just has the simple things and the things that really matter is how it mows and how it cuts and how it performs and it does very, very well. The obstacle avoidance isn't perfect, but it's good enough if you can keep your yard clear of uh, debris and rubbish, no problems there. And although this yard isn't sloped or anything like that, I would imagine that this would handle reasonable slopes very well. The fact that you can have multiple zones easily is really uh, positive, especially for properties that have lots of different yards and areas and situations. If there's a word that I can use to describe this mower, it's robust. The app is very well written. It's intuitive and easy to follow, although I didn't go much into it in this video. I just wanted to give you an overview of the mower totally. So who is it for? It's for people that are busy and people that uh, just want to have a good lawn without the fuss. And I think this mower really ticks those boxes. If you're a bit of a follower of my page, you probably know that I've been away a lot during the autumn and I will be doing the same going into winter. So this mower really saved my bacon. It really helped my wife who's here because she doesn't get into the mowing and everything like that. So it was a bit of a savior for her. And look, if you can keep on top of your lawn, keep on top of your mowing, you're gonna have a better lawn because if it grows up too high, well, that's when all the thatch happens and you get all sorts of problems. And I should have said this at the start of the video, but uh, this Robo Up mower was given to me to review. I had total control of the content, no money changed hands and I don't get any money from sales or anything like that. If you really like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel, subscribe because I'm doing lots of videos in regards to robot mowers, plus lawn care and everything else. So there's lots of content. I've almost got nearly 600 videos now. So get into that. I really like this new wave of the mowers with the AI and the, and the perimeter free. They're just fantastic like seeing this segment develop and more and more people are getting into them and that's why I'm doing these reviews. Look, I like to mow my lawn obviously and I'm very particular about it. I've been going away for like the last two months, a couple of weeks at a time and this has really saved my bacon in the backyard, that's for sure. If you've got any questions about this mower, be sure to pop a message in the comments. I'll keep an eye on it and I'll answer as best as I can. But uh, yeah, this is a great mower for a lot of people. I hope you enjoyed that video today. Get your lawn on. See you later.